8.39. A little something for the weekend with Sam Hunt. It's a mobile Sam today. He's out and about. G'day there, Sam. Good, good morning, Wamo. Yeah, yeah, I am indeed. We're, we're down at... Um, very good. Nice to hear the Kokaka all the way down North South Island here. <laughs> where about, whereabouts are you? We're, we are right above the way. I wonder if you can hear the sea. I'm right, we're right on that little cottage. Right on. You probably can't hear that. I can hear, but, a, but, I can hear a little bit. It sounds like waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're at Moiraki. Yeah. We're at Moiraki, the beautiful peninsula on, on the North Otago coast. Just, I, I've loved this place for many years. It's always been a, been a good, and uh, probably be, be about every boat out in the bay in front of me, every boat is a commercial boat. You know, there's not a single pleasure craft. <laughs> they're all going oh, out, they're all going out early morning fishing. No, they're not. No, a lot of them are still tied up. I think we had a bit of a late night in the bar last night. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fishermen are recovering. <laughs> <laughs> so am I for yeah, that matter. Yeah. No, 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 we came down, we, we uh, my son Alf, my 12-year-old and I, we we flew down and, and picked up our, uh, <coughs> do I have to mention the car? Should go, I mention the Go on, go on. Go on, go on. <laughs> the, the 9-11 Carrera Porsche, uh, which we've got for the week, it's black, and do you know what? It goes, it's, well, you don't want to go too fast, <laughs> but I've, I've been over 200 kilometres an hour. <laughs> Is that fast? That's quite fast. Isn't it? That's, about twice, that's, that's about twice the speed limit. You know? That is fairly fast. But that was probably on a, on a closed road, perhaps on an, on an airport landing strip or something along those lines. Wasn't it, it was yeah. actually a salt lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we've had a great time. And we drove down on Wednesday, um, further down the coast from here, to a place called, 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 called Waikawaiti or Waka, or Waka White. As, as the locals down here call it, um, very politically, <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but Waka Waiti or Waka Waiti, I've known the place, and they've got a community centre there, which has only been open about 18 months, and they, they on Wednesday night, they were hosting a whole lot of people in the transport industry, the 300 of them, They've had a big conference, and then on uh, that, that night they had me performing for an hour. I did an hour set, and uh, an all-girls band from Invercargill called Lipstick. Lipstick, hmm. and they were great. They yep. were just just superb. They were, uh, couldn't have, couldn't have been working with you know better people. And uh, we had a great night. Uh, stayed at stayed at the, pu- at the at the pub there called the Golden Fleece, but known locally as the as, a, as the the uh, Dirty Dag, <laughs> the Dirty Dag, and uh, oh, just just I mean five, five stars all round. I mean the 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 bloody you know the, the, the uh, sort of the hospitality, and uh, then uh, and then with the work out of the way on Wednesday night. Then yesterday we drove up the coast, stopped stopped at my old favourite, one of my favourite. Stopping places, Shag Shag Point. Of course, Shag Point, and I uh, went out to see the seals there. As what's that lovely? We're very much on this coastline, very much on 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 the Baxter coastline of the Otago, you know, the Otago coastline that Baxter wrote about so much. That poem, I'm sure I've said it before, but that lovely poem of his, I'll just say it quickly. That, but what? Well, Once said quickly, I'll say it. Mm. Um, uh, it's a uh, lovely poem. I've probably said it before on our program, uh, Failure. But, it well, it could be set anywhere on this coastline, I guess. Uh, how does it go? It's called Failure. Best, best of all to lose and see her then go walking down the street, the jug of her belly untapped. Before you could spit into the eye of the wind, she'd have you worrying like a dog and a drum, by clocks, by clothes, by no can do, by a violin twanging in a bad dream. And this is a bit I love. But now you've lost, honestly, mate. You can snore off till 10 in the morning with a free mind, sing, fart, whistle, cough, and bike out to where the sea and the land meet and watch the great bull seals like boulders among boulders, rubbing their itchy hides on fossil shells, marvellously doing nothing. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And, and that's exactly what we got. We, when we were having lunch yesterday over at, uh, at Fleur's, at Fleur's Place, now, Fleur, Fleur's, Fleur's got, the, got that restaurant right on the beach. She's right. right. Uh, the, the, the crib that we we're, that we're stayed in last night, Alf and I stayed in, uh, is at one end, end of the bay. And looking across the, the bay, of Moiraki Bay, Fleur's place is there. And, mm. we're, and we've seen a lot of Fleur while we've been down here. It's been a great time. And, and she runs it. She's absolutely bloody amazing. I'm not, I'm not surprised that she mm. gets the recognition she does. Just marvellous. And... Uh, 
No, it's been good, and, and I've been travelling, travelling, and also writing. It's been a good place for writing, and I've been mm. reading. I've been reading a great. I've just discovered a. And he's so lovely at the moment to find him an old, uh, old quite ancient uh, Chinese poet, Lu Yu, spelt L U Y U, and. One of Lou Yu's, this is a translation by the American poet Kenneth, Re- Kenneth Rexroth, who's done some of the best work in that impossible task of translating poetry. If anyone does it well, well, he certainly does. Have a listen to this one. This is one of Lou Yu's poems, obviously in English. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't got the Mandarin Chinese uh, aboard here this morning. It's called Idleness, which could quite well describe <laughs> me uh, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. He says, I keep the rustic gate closed for fear somebody might step on the green moss. The sun grows warmer. You you can tell it's spring. Once in a while, when the breeze shifts, I can hear the sounds of the village. My wife is reading the classics. Now and then she asks me the meaning of a word. I call for wine and my son fills my cup till it runs over. I have only a little garden, but it is planted with yellow and purple plums. Hmm. Isn't it beautiful? Have a listen to this one too. It's very, it's fun alongside it. It's lovely to, on a journey like this, to sort of be reading such a poet as Lu Yu, sort of just makes sense, makes good sense. This one's called I Walk Out Into the Country at Night. The moon is so high it is almost in the Great Bear. I walk out of the city along the road to the west. The damp wind ruffles my coat, dewy grass soaks my sandals. Fishermen are singing on the distant river. Fox fires dance on the ruined tombs. A chill wind rises and fills me with melancholy. I try to think of words that will capture the uncanny solitude. I come home late. The night is half spent. I stand for a long while in the doorway. My young son is still up reading. Suddenly he bursts out laughing, and all the sadness of the twilight of my life is gone. Wow, that's powerful. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, I love that. Lu, Lu Yu, yeah, yeah. he's well, came from one of the great dynasties. I'm, I don't know a lot of, sort of, so much about him, but I'm, I'm certainly um, loving discovering him. And and, 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 and with our traveling through countries, some of which he's seen, all of which I've seen over the years, but just re- happy to return to and return to. And uh, Today we're going to go up, um, we're planning vaguely, vaguely, mm. in the... In the, uh, in the Black Porsche, keeping an eye on the speed limit. <laughs> sure. Um, so we'll go, we'll go up to Omarama, then down through over the Lindus Pass and, and over to Hawea, and then probably stay the night there and then go over Haast Pass um, to over to over to the south southwestland and take our time oh. up, the, up, uh, up the west coast. Wow, what a time. And isn't it great that when you travel those distances around the South Island, you see the change in the landscape and the, and the, um, the weather and the... And 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 then the temperature and everything. It's all yeah. It's oh, surely. And, I, and, I, and and something else. Which and I say this without I, well, certainly without wanting to sound patronising towards the local people or anything. But there's a lovely old world courtesy down here. Hmm. It's it is different. I mean, I, I'm I'm not anti the north. God, I live in the, I, I live on the Kaipara. I mean, hmm. I love the north. But um, but uh, I love it down here, and I love the I, I love that charm of it. It's, it's got a very definite charm. It's uh, it reminds me again of a Baxter line that he wrote to his dad when his father was an old man, and he's what does he say? He says, "Not always steady on your on your on your pins at eighty four. Uh, nevertheless, uh, something, Dad, in a world of bombs and drugs, you charm me still." <laughs> Well, that's really what it's like here. So I haven't got time this morning, but look forward next week. Just a little, a little teaser, shall we say? Um, and Michael Richards, whose poems I've, I've featured a few times on the program, and uh, he's just written a new poem called Vida. So I'm looking forward to doing that next week. And, and in the meantime, I've got to sign the visitors book. There's a visitors book to this crib. Somebody here, um, Harry and Marg of Mosgiel, say. They have written in their remarks, this is a beautiful place, surely heaven can't be better. Golly. So on that note, that, yeah. that, 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 heaven, that heaven is better than this, I reckon I agree with with Harry and Marg of Mosgiel. Do you know what you're going to write? Now, Whammo, you've got me there. <laughs> I'm working on it. They don't give you much space, so I think I may go, go for the haiku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. 17, 17 syllables should fit in. I wonder how many... Um, 
this is a beautiful place, surely heaven. Oh, it's about 17 syllables, yeah, <laughs> something like that anyway. <laughs> okay. But, Hey, thanks, Wayne. Well, good, good, good to talk, and 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 good and good wishes to all, and 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 and, and have a good weekend, and, and all those sort of things. May you have a safe travel. Thank you very much. Sam. And and as we speak, the first fishing boat is heading out into the uh, is heading out to open the sea. Oh, perfect. Good. Good. good see you, mate. S- see you, Wayne. Well, Bye. That was a little something for the weekend with Sam Hunt only on Kiwi FM.